Okay, so this here is my uh, Altair 8800 clone. Uh, this isn't a true clone, this is more of an emulator. It actually runs off of an Arduino Do. Uh, I just used the AdWater kit. I uh, built it up a few weeks ago and been playing with it ever since, and I absolutely love this thing. Uh, however, there's not many good videos on YouTube of how to do front panel programming. Right, so we have a bunch of different switches, you know, what do they do? Uh, I sort of had to learn on my own, and it would have really helped if there were, you know, some very simple front panel programming tutorials. There are, but many of them are older, uh, they're up to date, and some of them just don't really follow a really good format. So I'll do my best here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to toggle in a very simple program. All it is is a jump to start. Okay, so first let's turn this thing on. Okay. And we are going to stop and reset. And I'm all ready to toggle this program in, but uh, before I do that, let me tell you about Octal and why you see that there are two three, three LEDs up here for data instead of just four and four as you would for hex. Okay, so let's look at octal. So just a quick refresher. Uh, this is an 8-bit computer and, you know, 8 bits make a byte. And let me show you a byte. Let's see, there's zero, 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 zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros, okay? So normally, we would use hexadecimal, right? If you split the byte in half, you get two nibbles. So this number becomes 0x00, zero zero zero, right? If I add, uh, if I do zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, one, this becomes 0x13, okay? This is hexadecimal. Now, the Altair and many of the older uh, computers, especially with front panels, use something called octal. Uh, octal is different than hex, but it, it, it achieves the same thing. Uh, actually, I, I even think Octal is easy to, easier to use on the front panels. So, instead of splitting up the byte into two nibbles, you split it up into two, three, and three. So now let's do the same numbers, but up here. They're the same numbers uh, that were up here. So let's see, zero, 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 zero becomes uh, I forget what the header is for octal. Let's see, it becomes zero, zero, zero. And this number, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, one, becomes, if I split it, it becomes zero, two, three. This is octal. So as you can see, it's the same number, uh, just formatted a bit differently. I find octal easier because you don't need to know uh, the hex codes for letters. All you just need to know is one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, and of course, seven. You just need to know zero through seven. You don't need to know the codes for, say, A, B, E, or all those other letters. So, talking into the front panel is much easier. Okay, now that we got the basics of, of Octal done, uh, let's make a very short program. Okay, let's just make a, pull up a new sheet here. Okay, let's see. Um, 
we will do a jump, just a single jump. So this this program will be only one instruction, a jump instruction. It'll have one opcode and one operand, uh, one byte opcode and a two byte operand. Because what we're going to do is we're going to jump to mem location. And we can make this a loop because all we want to do in this program is jump to start. Okay, so let's write it out. So let's do our program counter over here. Let's do zero, zero, zero. And let's call this loop. Okay, now this is the uh, this is the instruction. So I want to do a jump, and then in the next memory location, I will have the address. Let's do jump zero zero zero, and then the next memory location, I will have zero zero zero. So what will happen? is the program will execute, it'll see it's a jump, it'll say, okay, now what memory location we want to go to? I want to go to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and where is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0? Why, that is all the way back to the start. And it's a jump, so it'll just go through again and again. Okay, simple enough. Uh, what is the machine code for this though? Well, the machine code is actually very easy uh, for, for this program, obviously. There's only one instruction. Now, you're going to have to take my word for it, but the instruction for jump to memory address, jump to direct memory address in the 8080 assembly language, sorry, 8080 assembly, 8080 architecture, it is 303. So we will put in 303. Zero, 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 zero. And officially, this is what you would do. You would put, you would put zero, zero, zero. And then your assembly program, 303, which is jump. And then your memory location, zero, 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 zero. Okay, simple enough. Let's go toggle it in. Okay, so now that you understand Octal, more or less, uh, we are ready to toggle in our program. It's very easy, but uh, let me show you how to do it because there are a lot of switches and you know you have to hit the right ones for this to work. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we hit stop and then we hit reset. So here, these LEDs, a15 to A0, these are address LEDs. As you can see, they're all off, which means we are at address 0. And coincidentally, address 0 is where we want our program to start. So that's easy enough. So how do we start? Well, if you remember, our first instruction is a jump. And the jump is 303. So let's set that up here. So let's see. We have to do this in octal, remember. So 3, 0... Three. Okay. Well, there's no LEDs up here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll watch this. So we have three zero three. There's this deposit switch. We're gonna hit up to deposit. So now in memory location zero zero zero, we have three zero three. Awesome. Okay. So our next uh, piece of information to put in is zero zero zero. The high byte or I think the low byte, the low byte of the jump address. Okay, so let's set the switches, zero, 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 and we'll deposit it. Well, hang on, we can't just hit deposit because if we hit deposit, it'll deposit into address zero, zero, zero. But down here underneath deposit is this deposit next. So all we have to do is hit deposit next and our data will be put into the next memory address memory address one okay so as you can see memory address one zero 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 now we have one more byte to, to put in and it's another zero 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 
Well, it's already set to be 000, so let's just hit deposit next. Boom, add US2. Memory address 2 has 000. Okay, now let's make sure that our program is put in correctly. Let's have our switches set to the first memory location of our program, 000. Hit examine, hit upwards on examine, and we can see 303 is on memory address 000. And 303 is jump. Uh, let's look at the next address. We can hit examine next. Hit down on examine. Well, we can see the next address, 1, has 000. zero, zero. And let's look at the next one, 000. zero, zero. Looks like we're just fine. And if you keep examining it, you look at this is just junk that shows up in the computer as it turns on. Okay, so we are ready to start. What we do is we hit well, stop, reset. We are back at memory location 000. And let's, uh, let's step through a program to see if this works. Okay, so the first instruction is jump, right? So jump takes two bytes. It takes the, high, the low byte of your memory location to jump to and the high byte of the memory location to jump to. So let's single step it. There's a single step switch right here. We can hit up. Okay. Zero, zero. Jumps back to zero, zero, zero. So you jump, zero, zero. Goes all the way back to memory location, zero. And it just keeps doing it all over again. We keep stepping, it just goes in a circle. In fact, if we hit run, it looks like these LEDs are on continuously because it's just going so fast, it's just whipping around. And that's that's our program. All it is is just a simple jump. We can stop it. And we can see where it stopped. It stopped at it stops at instruction. And the only one instruction here is jump. So that there is how to uh, do a very simple front panel program on an Altair 8800. Uh, next video, I will show you how to add two numbers together and view the result.